Hey, Pastor Joe here. It's time for our Tuesday e-blast. So I hope that the, the day finds you serving the Lord and enjoying the blessings of God on your heart and upon your life and your family. Uh, I just want to share a few things with you today. One, I want to just give you a brief update about our Mother's Day. Man, what a great day in the Lord it was. If you were here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We had great attendance. We had great fellowship, families gathering together, celebrating mom. The message uh, uh, it's something, if you didn't get a chance to be a part of that service, especially our moms, grandmoms, go back and uh, view that on our YouTube channel or on, on our website at uh, bfchurch.tx. You go there and you'll see our videos and look at Sundays because we talk about, you know, the, the unique power uh, of a heroic woman. And we take the passage out of the New Testament where Jesus is dealing with this Canaanite woman. And it's a very interesting passage. Many times it's misunderstood, but you'll see there how this, this lady moves against all the opposition of the culture was throwing at her and got got to her place in the presence of, of the Lord and got her request uh, met, how God meet, met the need and the, the desire of her heart. So check that out. I think it'll be encouraging to every mom that would take the time to listen to it. Share that link with friends and family as well. I think they'll be blessed by it. Other, there also, we did a photo day, which was a lot of fun. A lot of families showed up and did family photos, family pictures, my family. We did a, a couple with me and Kathy and then with our kids and their families and extended families and their families. So I think 65 families in uh, total just that we did pictures of that day. So those will be uploaded. Uh, I'll put the link in the information. That they, they should be up another five or six days, hopefully, by the first of the week for, of next week for sure. So we're in the process of uploading those photos. You can take them down, crop them, Photoshop them, whatever you're going to do with them, go get them printed wherever you would like to have them, them printed. Also, uh, I want to remind you, thinking about the Mom's Day and families and stuff, that we do have our marriage uh, conference back on schedule. Of all the COVID that, that's happening, all the difficulties that have been going on with COVID-19, we had to cancel. The marriage conference has been something we have done probably since the second year of our church. We've been doing them year after year after year in all different kinds of places, from the hill country to Galveston and other places. We're going back up to uh, Wyo Ranch this time up in the hill country. So no matter where you are, if you're a member of our church or not, you're invited to come be a part of that. Just follow the information that I put out with our newsletters and watch on our website and you'll see links to that coming up in the next couple of weeks about how to sign up and be a part of our, our marriage conference. It's always a great time. Wyo Ranch is a beautiful place and uh, uh, it's a beautiful facility for conferences. So up in the hill country, you don't want to miss that. So put it down. Uh, I don't have the exact date in front of me, but I do know it's the last Friday and uh, last Thursday and Friday in September and the first Saturday in October. So it's those three days there. Mark them on your calendar. Uh, be paying attention to what's happening on our website and Facebook. You'll, you'll be updated pretty regularly in the days ahead about how to get signed up for that. Uh, also, praise the Lord, it is my and Kathy's, Kathy and I's 46th anniversary. 46 years this woman has put up with me, and I can't thank God enough for that. What a wonderful relationship that God put together when he, he brought our two lives from two different parts of the, of the country together and united our hearts. Uh, my marriage to Kathy has been the most phenomenal, fulfilling uh, thing that's ever happened in my life, outside my relationship, obviously, with the Lord Jesus. And then through that relationship, God's given us the, the family he's given us, our kids that he's given us, our grandkids. God is so good. And I can't praise him enough and thank him enough for giving me that gracious, kind-hearted, uh, people-loving, Jesus-loving woman that he gave me. I love you, Kathy, and thank God for your the gift that you are in my heart and life. Also, I want to remind you, I don't get too much here, remind you about uh, this coming Sunday. We're getting back to our series. It'll be part six, as a matter of fact, on knowing God. And there's a passage in Psalms. In fact, there's several passages in Psalms that talk about how we can understand how God works and why God does what he does. There's a passage in Psalms 103, verse 7 says, He made known his ways unto Moses, and he made known his acts unto the children of Israel. It basically means that uh, the people, they saw what God did, but Moses knew why God did what he did. He understood the ways of God. There's a similar passage in Psalms 95 where it says, 40 years long I was aggrieved with that generation and said, this is a people that do err in their heart and have not known my ways. What's that mean? It says that they keep making bad decisions because their heart is not really right with me. They don't understand in their heart the way I work, the way, the, the, why I do what I do. They don't understand me. And we don't understand God or anyone else, as a matter of fact, because we don't know him very well. 
And the more that we deepen our relationship and understanding what it really means to know God, the more that we begin to understand the ways of God. So I want to present that message on understanding the ways of God in a very simple, uh, clear, I'm a simple guy, so I keep it simple, in a very simple, clear, but I believe very powerful way Sunday morning. So make plans now not to miss this because you don't want to be that kind of person who, who knows and sees what God does but you really don't understand why God does, what he does or how he does. And because of that, we err in our heart. We make bad choices and bad decisions. And that is certainly the picture of so many people today. Hey, so join us Sunday. If you can't be here, then join us on live stream. Be a part of our worship service. Let us know you're watching. All right, I'll put some further information about the photo sh uh, shop and, I mean, the photos that we, from uh, from our Mother's Day on our on my the, the email part of this e-blast. So look at that and be paying attention. If you got your pictures taken, you'll be able to go in a few days. And, and look at those. We, I think it was seven to 10 days from Sunday, what we said. So going up soon. Praise the Lord. I love you. I praise God for you. Let's continue to lift each other up. Let's continue to encourage one another. As the Apostle Paul says, especially as we get closer to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. These are great days to be alive in the kingdom. Let's continue to serve the Lord. God bless you.